Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the do until loop. So now basically what the do until loop is, is it's similar to the for loop in that it will do a certain block of code um, over and over again until a certain value is reached. But the difference is, is that when you use a for loop, the developer knows exactly how many times that for loop is going to run. So let's say we did for num1 equals 1 to 20. We know that that's going to go 20 times because we specified that it needs to go that many times. Now with the do until loop, it will run um, until a certain value is reached. And now sometimes this will run, I don't know, let's say for example we make a do until loop. Uh, do until num1 equals 10. This could run 10 times or it could run a thousand times if num1 is equal to uh, let's say uh, negative 990 that will run a thousand times now let's go ahead and make a do until loop example so we'll go ahead and select a new project we'll do a console application and we'll type do until loop now let's zoom in here okay now let's go ahead and add console dot read line so I won't forget that at the end and now let's come up here and we'll declare a variable so we'll do dim num1 as integer and we'll set it equal to negative or let's just set it equal to zero to start with okay so now what we're gonna do is we are going to create our do until loop so we'll type do until num1 is equal to let's do 10 and you can see here that it created this loop word for us so basically what this means is it's similar to the next in the for loop once it hits this statement right here it's going to come back around to the top of the do until loop and if num1 uh, is not equal to 10 then it's going to go ahead and keep looping until num1 is equal to 10 and then it's going to go down to the line after the loop statement okay so what do we want to do until num1 is equal to 10 so we'll just write console dot right line num1 now if we run this then we it will print out 0 over and over and over again because we haven't incremented num1 it's always going to be equal to 0 so let's just do after console dot right line num1 we'll just type num1 plus equals 1 so basically what this is going to do is it's going to print out num1 and then it's going to add one to it. It's going to go up, it's going to loop until num1 is equal to 10 and it's going to do console.readline. So you can see if we run this, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now you can see that it stops at 9. Now the reason it does this is because it does it until num1 equals 10. So if num1 is equal to 10, then it's not going to do it. Now if we set that equal to 11, then it would print out all the way up to 10. Now we can also increment num1 in different values. So we can do num1 plus equals 2. And you can see if we run this, we get 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Now we can also set num1 to a different value other than 0 at the beginning. So if we set it equal to negative 20, then if we go ahead and do until num1 equals 10, it's going to do it a different amount of times. So it's going to start at negative 20, negative 18, and it's going to increment it by 2 all the way until it gets to 8. So go ahead and practice and make a couple do until loops. Uh, once you got those down and you know you're not going to forget them, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And thanks for watching, guys.